Broncos offenses in the last 22 years. QB work since 2000. Points per game. At least three starts from the quarterback. The best, Peyton Manning, who averaged nearly 29 points per game. Other names in there, Jake Plummer, Jay Cutler, Drew Locke, Teddy Bridgewater. We keep going down the list. These are the quarterbacks with the best points per game average over the last 22 years. Case Keenum, Kyle Orton, Trevor Simeon, Brock Osweiler, Tim Tebow, Brandon Allen, Joe Flacco, Paxton Lynch, and the quarterback with the single fewest points per game over the last 22 years of Broncos quarterbacking is Russell Wilson. Russ had one good throw last night. One. And that was the touchdown. But that's on a broken coverage. Time after time after time last night, either the Broncos pass rush or the Broncos pass protection rather broke down and the Chargers were in the face of Russell Wilson forcing him into a sack, a rush throw, what have you. Or even when that didn't happen, Russ was all over the place. Russ was under-throwing, over-throwing, side-throwing, making quick decisions, poor decisions. There was a moment last night, and if you've watched enough Troy Aikman over the years, you know he doesn't get too pointed in his criticism. I think Troy calls a good game, but even particularly with quarterbacks, he's not really going to rip you. It's not traditionally what happens in those high-profile spots. Most of those guys... Protect the brethren, protect the alumni, protect what they're seeing on the field. You know, nobody's really that critical. And there was a moment of the first half where Troy was so frustrated by what he was seeing, his voice raised and couldn't believe that Russ didn't spot the open man and said he's lacking discipline with his eyes. He's lacking discipline with his eyes. And I thought, boy, that's a very unique criticism. And it's coming from a guy that doesn't usually do it. And you could hear him how frustrated he is just watching it. And what basically Aikman was saying is Russ has gotten sloppy. That Russ is not focused or he's not locked in or he's trying to freelance, or whatever, but he's gotten sloppy. You might say to yourself, well, Russell Wilson, they tried it, they spun the wheel, and whatever, didn't work, so you trade him after the season, or you cut him after the season, or you see if he can do it next season, but get a quick hook on him, and he won't be there for long. I'm here to tell you, he's there for long. This can't look like this going forward because the Broncos can't afford it to look like this going forward because the Broncos paid him such exorbitant cash. They can't get out from under Russell Wilson. Now, maybe Russ is banged up. He wanted that report floated out there clearly, so maybe that's part of it. Maybe part of it is Nathaniel Hackett's play calling. The offense in general, Russ adjusting to a new team. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt there. Russell Wilson is immovable. He is immovable. Russell Wilson signed a seven-year, $245 million contract before the season. Seven years, 245. Now, as we know in the NFL, Not all of that is guaranteed unless you're Deshaun Watson. But half of it is Russ got $124 million of it guaranteed. So starting this March, the Broncos 
are on the hook for $124 million for Russell Wilson. Nobody's going to take that on. What you've seen is the worst quarterback play the Broncos have had in 22 years. Minimum. And it's at the the cost of $124 million guaranteed. You can't move that contract. Nobody would absorb that contract. Nobody would absorb that much guaranteed money. Now, this year, he's got a cap hit, cap number of $17 bucks. okay? But he's got dead money on this for four to five more seasons that make him immovable. As we just watched Rosie the Cat walk through the screen here at the home studios. Rosie, your fans on Twitch are going wild right now. Want to come back through or what? He's got a cap hit of dead cap money of $31 million in 2026. So you could cut him, but you'd be on the hook for $31 million of dead cap money. You can't afford it. $31 million of cash that you can't use? This means Russ is a Bronco this year, 2023, 2024, 2025, and then probably 2026. Even in 2024, to just absorb two more seasons of Russ this year or next year, and you want to get rid of him in 2024, okay? Even if you wanted to do that, his dead cap number is $85 million. I mean, that's... 75% of your salaries? You just couldn't afford to release Russell Wilson going into 2024 because $85 million would be dead money. You can't do it. So he's on this team minimum for three years, 2022, 23, and 24, and probably 25 because in 25, your dead cap number is $50 million. Are you going to go out, sign another quarterback, and pay Russ $50 million to go away in dead money? Basically, that's what you have to do. Assemble a team with dead money at $50 million. You can't afford to do it. This can't go on. Russ has to be better. Because if this is what the Broncos bought, you have to eat this for four more years minimum. The fact is, Nathaniel Hackett's more than likely going to get fired after the season because they can't fire Russell Wilson. And they'll try to find some type of scapegoat, some type of fall guy. It will have to be Hackett. It will have to be. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. I mean, I'm not into firing guys after one year. But this offense is just so humiliating And Hackett is an offensive guy, so you can't even say that he doesn't have control over that side of the football. So more than likely, Hackett is fired after the season. More than likely, unless there is some dramatic change, which feels hard to imagine today. But the whole Russ is cooked thing, Russ is washed, Russ is old, Russ is washed up, that doesn't matter. If that's the case, the Broncos still have to, let's ride. With Russ, despite that, you're going to be paying him $120 million guaranteed. What are you going to do? Not play him? That's what's terrifying about last night. That's what's terrifying. Russ in a new offense is problematic. Russ with a new head coach is problematic. Russ's play calling beyond him is problematic. Russ's acclamation is problematic. But also, Russ might have lost serious effectiveness. And that's the worst part, because you can't change that. Not with this deal, not with this contract. Oh, how many more times do we have to watch the Broncos on primetime? It's like the old Bears stuff. It's like, how many times do we got to get the Bears? We get the Bears coming up again on Monday night. 
please, no more Broncos. Please spare us. 